Have you got a fixed penalty notice and you feel like it was unjust? There isn't a formal appeals process, but you can take it to court if you're confident. A fixed penalty notice is essentially a fine for a variety of offences, which can include everything from traffic violations to minor acts like littering. If you want to challenge an FPN, your only route is to take the matter to court, which is obviously a bit of a gamble. Let's talk about different types of fixed penalty notices. Some are endorsable, meaning that they come with points and will stay on your licence for 4 to 11 years, while others are non-endorsable and only result in a fine. The offences that can result in an FPN are quite diverse and they include ignoring traffic regulations, faulty vehicle registration, careless driving and even driving without insurance among others. The first thing you have to consider is the cost. Going to court is not only time consuming but can also turn out to be much more expensive than the initial fine. If you're found guilty then you'll be hit with a higher fine plus court costs. So you have to ask yourself, is it really worth the hassle? Given the stakes, it's highly advisable to consult with a qualified professional or the Citizens Advice Bureau to assess whether you have a fighting chance. If money is tight and you can't make the payment within the 28 day period, you must take action immediately. Don't wait until the last minute when you're in full panic mode because nothing comes out of rushed decisions. Reach out to the fines officer at the court that issued your FPN to discuss your circumstances. Some court Courts offer alternatives like paying at a later date, paying in instalments or extending the time frame to make it easier for you. Providing a budget with your income and expenditures will really help your case. You can't ignore a fixed penalty notice because it will catch up with you. These fines are legally enforceable and if you don't make the payment within the usual 28 days, your case will be bumped up to the magistrate's court, lose the case and you'll be facing not only the original fine but also some pretty hefty court costs. And if you continue to be stubborn and don't pay, bailiffs could show at your doorstep or worse an actual arrest warrant could be issued. When it comes to paying a fixed penalty notice usually all the information that you need will be right there on the notice. This could involve visiting an online portal or making a phone call to the issuing authority. Just make sure that you've got all the relevant details to hand including your FPN reference number. If you're still considering taking your FPN to court then you may want to run it by an online solicitor before you seek representation. Just Answers running a £5 trial and you can ask as many questions as you want about your FPN. I'll leave the link below the video for you and if you use it, you'll be supporting Thrifty Family, so thanks.